fellow servants of the Americas. All of the men and the women of this Pan-American Scientific Congress have come here tonight, I think, with heavy hearts. During the past few years, you and I have seen event follow event, each and every one of them a shock, a shock to our hopes for the peaceful development of modern civilization as we know it. And this very day, the 10th of May, 1940, this very day, three more independent nations have been cruelly invaded by force of arms. I am glad that we Americans, of the three Americans, are shocked that we are angered by the tragic news that has come to us from Belgium and the Netherlands and Luxembourg. Seldom has there been in history a more unwarranted violation of good faith on the part of any nation and a more brutal attack on all that is decent in the relations between cultured states as we are witnessing now on the part of Germany. True to its principles, the Netherlands are resisting this attack to the fullest extent of their power and they will fight on as long as there remains one German soldier on Netherlands soil. Infantry, you say? No, cavalry. King Leopold, following the example of his father, King Albert, uphose with the same courage and the same simplicity the laws of national honor and imposes all the forces of the nation against the invader. Belgium has acquired the experience of facing overwhelming odds and she knows her enemy. <laughs> 